Hey, I'm the Grow Boss, and in this series of videos, we're going over everything you need to know to clone cannabis, right? Because that's the number one problem that comes through my hydroponics store, which is why I'm showing you in this video, step by step, how to use all of the Clonex products to clone cannabis so you can get that 99% success rate with that explosive root growth seven to 10 days after you drop a cutting in the Root Riot starter plugs. So far, we've gone over preparing the plant. I've showed you how to prepare the Root Riot starter plugs. And now the question is, are you gonna start a seed or a clone? Because if you're gonna start a seed, all you're gonna do, take the seed, put it in the Root Riot starter plugs, put the dome over it with the two foot T5 and you're golden. I know the internet's got all sorts of stuff for you, but forget about it. Don't worry about paper towels. Don't worry about soaking it in a bleach solution to prevent any disease that was under the shell of the seed. Forget about soaking them overnight in water. Take your cannabis seed, put it right in the inoculated Root Riot starter plug, bam, put the dome on it, wait three to five days. You're gonna have healthy seedlings. You're gonna have healthy starts. You're not gonna need to get in there and pick the seed shells off of them because Clonex Solution is the perfect food for your seedlings and clones. So you don't need to worry about any of that. Just put seeds in there. Now, if you're gonna take clones, that's something different, right? Because we're gonna to have to go to the donor plant and take some clones. And there are tricks to taking clones. Now every Root Riot starter tray, of course, comes with a 15 mil gel pack, which is enough to do 50 cuttings. All you've gotta do is open it up. You're gonna pour it into a little shot glass. Now this is the disposable pack. You could, of course, buy the larger ones. For instance, this is the 15 mil gel pack. It'll do about 50 cuttings. The 250 mil, this will do 750 cuttings. And if you buy a larger container like that, you're gonna to wanna to pour it into something smaller like this. You never dip the cutting or live organic material directly into the Clonex bottle because it'll contaminate it. So you'll always pour it into something like this before you take your cuttings. All right, now let's turn our attention to the plant because we're gonna take some cuttings. And there's a couple of ways that you can do this because if you've been having problems taking your cuttings, I know what you're doing. You're way down here looking for old woodsy cuttings because the internet will tell you that an old woodsy cutting from down at the bottom of the plant will last longer in the starter trays. But you don't have to worry about that because you've got root right starter plugs with Clonex solution and three to five days before you took your cuttings, you sprayed your donor plant with Clonex rooting gel. That's why I'm gonna tell you when you have a healthy donor plant and she's ready to donate cuttings, you wanna go to the top you want to take the biggest, fastest growing tops because they're going to give you the fastest, most vigorous root starts. And that's what you're looking for. You'll get more branches per inch. You'll get a bushier plant that stays lower if you carefully take your cuttings from a healthy plant. Now, a, a leaf will root. So you're always looking for that top growth shoot. And where and how many cuttings you can take from a branch will depend on how you're trying to shape up your plant, right? So all you're gonna do is find a growth shoot like this. You'll come down, clean up the plant a little, and you're just gonna make a little slice right down here, take a cutting. Now, if you're just taking a few cuttings, you can dip it right in the Clonex rooting gel, but if you're gonna take 50 cuttings, you're probably gonna want a cup of water, pH balance, cup of water with a little splash of Clonex solution in there just to help with the shot. You're gonna take all your cuttings at once and you'll have them all in the cut. Now, if you take them one at a time, You'll just take them, dip them in the Clonex rooting gel, put them in the Root Riot starter plugs. But if you're gonna take a bunch of them, then before you dip them in the rooting gel, you're gonna to wanna to make a fresh clean cut. Just put a little nick on the end, new cut, end of the cutting, dip it in the Clonex rooting gel, 10 to 15 seconds, and then right into the Root Riot starter plug. Now, I know you guys have those little tricks that you think work where you scrape a little off the bottom or you split the stalk and all that's great. But the reality is, is if you take healthy cuttings from a healthy growing plant that's been prepared with Clonex mist and you put them into your Root Riot starter plugs, I am telling you that all the growers that do this get explosive root growth in seven to 10 days. You don't need to invent new products. You don't need to invent new lights. You don't need to experiment and try new things. All you have to do is what the growers that are getting the 99% success rate do when it comes to taking their cuttings, right? Healthy plant, 
healthy cutting, dip them in that Clonex rooting gel, a hormone specifically designed to cause more root buds to start up and down the stem of the plant. So you get more vigorous root growth. And outdoors, it may be fine if you start off with a few roots coming out of the bottom, but indoors, under the bigger lights with the faster growth rate and all these other products like Root Maximizer that's gonna speed up the growth rate, all of those things cause stress on the plant, so you need more roots. So you got your Clonex rooting gel, put them in a Root Riot starter plug. A couple things to know about the Root Riot starter plugs. The cutting should fit snugly in there. If you poke the cutting out the bottom, you did not do this right, make a new hole. If you broke your plant, if you broke the stem pushing it in there, you did not do this right, start over. If your plant rattles around in the hole, start over. You want a nice squeeze, a nice tight fit for that cutting so it's held in there with the tip about three quarters of the way down of that root riot starter plug. And that's it, that's all you need to take your clones. Just do that 49 more times. Then. You're going to put a Mondi humidity dome with a Mondi hygrometer over them and a single bulb, two foot T5. Don't grow a brain. Don't invent anything new. Just make your setup look like this, full of cuttings. And in seven to 10 days from now, you will have a setup just like this, full of clones, cuttings that have rooted. Cuttings are, cuttings are clones that haven't rooted yet. Clones and rooters are the East Coast and West Coast words for cuttings that have rooted. So. If you want that 99% um, success rate with those explosive root growths, this is all you need. And I know that while your plants are, while your cuttings are under here, that you're thinking you're gonna be clever, lift up the dome, maybe spray a little water under there, keep that humidity high. Absolutely not. There should not be rainstorm conditions with your cuttings. Even one drop of humidity in the corner of your dome is plenty. And the reason humidity is such a concern is because plants sweat. And if your cutting sweats before it has roots to absorb more water, they'll dehydrate. That's why people cut the leaves in half to slow down the transpiration rate. Okay, that's everything you need to start your clones and cuttings in a root riot starter tray. In the next video, I'm gonna go over the next four weeks. What do you do with them underneath the dome? How do you get them prepared for veg? What products are we gonna use? Like Clonex Root Maximizer, Clonex Solution, and Clonex Mist. So I'm gonna show you how to feed the tray, how to water the tray in the next video. I'm the Grow Boss, and if you have any questions about cloning or Clonex products, you can always pick up a copy of my book, The Grow Book and Equipment Guide, from my website, thegrowboss.com. Thanks so much for watching.